Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and in this video we're going to look at ultrasonic sensors. So once again, there are four different blocks that we'll be using. The weight block, the loop block, the switch block, and the ultrasonic sensor block, which we'll pull out that one first. So ultrasonic sensors work kind of like how a bat uses um, uh, its voice to determine how far away it is from something and to see. So what it does is it sends a signal out and then it bounces back on whatever it hits and then depending on how long it takes to get there then it knows how far away it is from an object. So uh, what this is right here is it's just outputting the distance in centimeters that it's currently reading and this one's just inches and what presence it means is it's a true or false statement so you can see the logic wire the green one and what it's looking for when it's using the presence thing is um, a presence of another ultrasonic sensor there's also an advanced option it's exactly the same as the other measurement options except you get to choose whether or not it's a ping so um, it sends out a signal then waits for it to come back and then a little bit of time later it sends out another one continuous means that it just keeps going over and over and over and over and over again unfortunately I haven't had much uh, experience specifically with this advanced setting so uh, it's up to some of the teams to experiment what the difference is and how it affects the accuracy of the ultrasonic sensor and the same things for inches so once again you can compare you have your different signs here so you could be waiting for however many centimeters because we're on the centimeters so let's say 20 and if it's true it'll output here and if it's false it'll also output here so this is the true or false and this will display the actual centimeters that it's reading same exact thing for inches except just in inches and presence is the exact same for compare and uh, measure it'll just output whether or not it sees a uh, another ultrasonic or uh, ultrasound sensor being uh, used uh, in the area and the output will be true if it's true, false if it's false. Uh, there we go. I'll pull out the weight block. So it's exactly the same as the other as before. You're comparing, except instead of outputting a uh, true or false statement when it's true it'll just move on from this block and go on to the next one same with distance and inches it's the same thing and the same thing with the presence so instead of an output it's just waiting for uh, another uh, presence of a ultrasonic sensor to be uh, detected change is only for distance so once again you can uh, determine which way you want um, the change to occur so for uh, an increase in change so a uh, farther distance a decrease so closer or any dis or any change and then you just change your number so right now it's set to 10 centimeters use your centimeter output and inches is exactly the same except in inches and instead of a centimeter in centimeter output you'll have an inch output pull in a loop so once again what you're setting here is when the loop will exit when this is satisfied then it'll exit so right now it's when it's less than so when it's less than 50 centimeters away, it'll exit the loop. 
It's the exact same thing except for inches, so less than 50 inches, then I'll exit the loop. And then for presence, it's if it detects another presence of a uh, ultrasonic sensor, then it will exit the loop. Then finally the switch. So, once again you can compare, uh, instead of having the true or false uh, be a wire, what it is, is it automatically splits it up, the true or false, into different paths. So if it's less than 50 uh, centimeters away, then it'll go to the true section, and if it's uh, more than 50 centimeters away, it'll go to the false uh, section. And it's the exact same thing, once again, for inches as centimeters, except it's in inches, not centimeters. And presence. So, if it detects a presence, it will go this way, to the true, far, to, true part. And uh, if it doesn't detect a presence, it'll go to the false part. So, we can pull out an example, <coughs> similar to... Uh, one that we've already done, where we drive until we get to a certain uh, distance away from the wall. So we're using a loop. We'll have it turn on and keep it at 50 power level. Then we'll exit it when it's maybe, uh, let's say, 15 centimeters away from the wall. And when it's 50, 15 centimeters away from the wall, We'll make it stop. And let's see what this does. Alright, as you can see, everything's all good. It stopped 15 centimeters away from the wall. So yeah, that's the ultrasonic sensor. Um, we should have a few more sensors left, and then we'll be putting everything together in a kind of more intermediate way.